What's up YouTube artists and aspiring artists? It's Mike here with Aerosol Custom Spray Paint Art. Today is another spray paint art tutorial. That's what this channel is all about. If you're just tuning in, stumbling across this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you join the Aerosol community. For today's tutorial, we're gonna be doing an earth and a moon painting, incorporating a little bit of color into another kind of nighttime scene. So stay tuned as we jump straight into the video. All right, for today's spray paint art tutorial, you will need some supplies, some, some gloves to keep your hands nice and clean, a couple of plastic bags. We're gonna need our planet stencils. Today I have a very small one and a really big one. Key here is to try to have something with a nice thin edge like this. That's gonna prevent having rings around your planets and keep things looking nice. This is the brand of poster board that I use. Art skills, they even have a website. I always buy it at Walmart. Uh, make sure you guys discuss in the comments where you pick up your poster board if you're not from North America. Next up we have our paint. I'm using Rust-Oleum Painters Touch Gloss. And these are the colors I'm gonna pick out today. I'm gonna be using a white, a black, a yellow, green, and a couple of blues. I don't think I'll go too far outside of that color scheme. Last but not least, we have Rust-Oleum Quick Color, just a black and a white, both in gloss. All right, we're gonna try to keep this one as quick and painless as possible. So we're gonna go ahead and start by tossing down our planet stencil here and our moon over here. Then we're gonna come in with our Rust-Oleum Black and we're just gonna mist and mark where our planets are gonna go. I take my green and red Rust-Oleum. I'm gonna take my green and yellow Rust-Oleum. I'm just gonna work out a basic shape of some land and terrain down here. I'm not going for geographic accuracy. Just looking for the effect. So once I get some of that, I'm gonna go ahead with my two blue colors and start adding in what will be water. Don't be afraid to get a little bit on some of the green and yellow. And that's it for our earth for now. Now we're gonna come in Rust-Oleum Black and Start on our moon, black, and white. Going with our plastic bag here. Just put your hand inside. We're gonna lay that down on top, nice and lightly. I really like how that's looking. I do want that realistic rocky texture to it. Because of how this played out, not even gonna add any shading to this moon. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop my moon stencil back on there. Now for our earth, I'm gonna add in some white, nice light mist, not even going all the way out to the edge, just kind of kissing the edge. Coming in with another plastic bag and we're just gonna lay this down nice and gently and hope to just roll it across our earth, gently tapping out some interesting textures here. That's got a pretty cool look to it. I'm just gonna make it a little more natural, less blocky. Coming in with my quick color white, really, really lightly. Coming back in with our blue here. Just kind of kissing that bottom edge. And now back in with black. And 
and then it'll darken it right up for us. I'm gonna accelerate the drying process just a little bit. Best thing to do here is just wait. Five, maybe three minutes. Now we're gonna lay this earth stencil down, just making sure we get a little bit of that outer edge, that little white area. That's gonna do perfect for us here. So we'll bring all this back into view for you guys. Now we're just gonna go through plain and simple and black out uh, the background. We aren't gonna go for thick coverage though, so just nice little bursts here, as always. Move your hand in a circular motion, nice and quick, about nine inches away. Try not to go over the same areas. You don't want to have the paint start to build up and pool. For this edge here, just see how quick I move my hand. If you go slow and do it, it's going to be a nightmare. So just really quick bursts. That's all you need. One of our last steps here, we're just going to add some stars. We're going to spray some gloss white onto our fingertip, obviously off to the side of the painting. Get some on there, flick off the excess paint, and then flick it here right on to the poster board. Last step for me here is I'm just gonna go in with a tiny, tiny bit of quick color white just along the edge to make a little bit of an atmosphere effect. I see a lot of people going with the Rust-Oleum at this stage, that might be a bad idea. This stuff comes out a lot messier, a lot lighter, and that Rust-Oleum is kind of like a thick fire hose, so uh, give this a try. Many of you just wanna skip this next step and be satisfied with kind of this end result here, so. pop off our moon here that's looking pretty good and go ahead and take off our earth stencil boom and that's it guys a nice simple quick earth and moon that you guys can practice and put into your spray paint art repertoire thanks so much for watching if you guys are new to the channel make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and leave a comment below. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys again in the next spray paint art tutorial.